Now the Caldor fire is certainly pushed to the northeast here. You see these fire symbols on there. Those are the areas of concern tonight. We start on the northeast portion closest to South Lake Tahoe. Crews telling me they literally have fire trucks lined up along the roadways in hopes that the fire doesn't jump past those trucks and get closer to South Lake Tahoe. Then you have this section down here near Kirkwood. So far, the fire is staying north of Highway 88, and that is good news because south of Highway 88, that is where the Kirkwood Resort is. That's where a lot of people live. So certainly an active situation. The Caldor firefight is in full swing as firefighters are doing what they can to protect homes. The winds are not our friend when we're trying to fight fire. And those winds coupled with the red flag warning has created what they call an active crown fire situation where embers jump from top of tree to top of tree. Those ember casts that it throws out are going over a mile in distance. So that's what's propagating the spread of the fire right now. Firefighters are trying to prevent those embers and these flames from getting any closer to South Lake Tahoe, an area that looked desolate on Tuesday where a coyote could be seen wandering the streets. Kirkwood is also a major area of concern where crews were busy cutting down brush. And at last check, we were told the fire had yet to go south of Highway 88 towards the Kirkwood Resort. It's very tough, emotional. My wife is a wreck right now, and I don't blame her whatsoever. Evacuees like Rick Wright, who already had to evacuate from South Lake Tahoe, were again told to leave as more evacuation orders went into effect Tuesday in Douglas County, Nevada. They want us to go to Reno. I said, no, I'll just pull off the side of the highway. It's, I understand they have to do things, but this makes no sense. Cal Fire saying these flames haven't been seen in this part of the forest, not just for a few years, but for more than 80 years. I did map out the fire in comparison to where Highway 50 meets Highway 89 in South Lake Tahoe. That's called the Y by some, appears to be around four miles from there and seven miles from state line. J.R. Stone, ABC 7 News.